Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you some of my personal favourite tips so you can win more races in GTA 5 Online. Now these tips are going to go over a range of different skill levels so some of these might be a bit obvious if you have played more than about an hour of the game. but they will range from beginner tips that we will cover towards the beginning and more advanced tips that we will cover more towards the end and explain in greater detail so if you do enjoy this kind of uh, content drop a like subscribe and do let me know down in the comments if you want to see more car related content or guide related content such as this with all of that out of the way let's get into it so tip number one I have for you guys today is to use the start boost at the beginning of a race. Now if you don't know what this is, it's a small little acceleration boost you can get at the countdown. All you have to do as I'm going to show here is as soon as you see the countdown and it goes 3, 2, 1, go. As soon as you see go pop up, you just want to press down on your accelerator and as you kind of saw there, your car will just shoot forward. It gives you a nice little boost of acceleration and there you go, you are off. Now this doesn't automatically mean you've won the race or anything, but it's a nice little quick start to get the race going now let's get on to the next one the next tip I have for you guys is selecting the right car for the right race and for tracks okay now this will take a little bit of experience to get used to but don't fret if you aren't you know all knowledgeable about what car is the best on each track all of that good stuff because there are basically general best cars for each class that you want to go ahead and be using for most of your races now if you're unsure about these I have made a previous guide so I will leave that in the description and give you a card in the top right if you want to go check that out now or if you want to check it out at the end of the video as I said it's in the description this will essentially show you the best car in every class so sport super motorcycles all of that good stuff so you will have the best advantage when doing a race now this doesn't automatically guarantee you the win at all but if you have a car that is way faster than most of the other people are driving you are going to give yourself a huge advantage and I highly recommend you take up on the opportunity with all that aside let's get into the next tip so the next tip I would like to give you guys is to try and race as cleanly as possible. Now by this I mean to try and reduce the amount of contact you have with other drivers. Now these first few are going to be pretty basic but don't worry we will get onto more advanced stuff later. But obviously contact and whatnot, it's a pain in the ass and half the community does it so how can you avoid it well simply just don't put yourself in the position where you're going to be trying to spin other people out because they're probably going to go ahead and try and do it back to you and staying away from people who drive erratically or just want seem to just you know not have any control over the car because half the time they're probably doing that to compensate for the fact that they can't drive for shit so if you just ignore them try and get your way past them as cleanly as possible you should be good Obviously, this isn't always possible, but if you try to stay and keep the driving as clean as possible, it's just going to leave you with greater chance of winning. The next tip I would like to give you is to utilize curb boosting. Now, if you're not sure what this is, this is essentially a small acceleration and speed boost that you can get by driving on raised surfaces such as the curbs, sides of pavement, and the sides of tracks. Now, the way that the handling and suspension model works in GTA is for whatever reason, when the suspension is compressed, you seem to get a slight acceleration boost for whatever reason. Now, I can't really explain why this happens. I'm not, you know, part of the development team who made this but it has been tried and tested that it does work and it does give you a slight advantage over people who are just taking the normal route so if you try to go ahead and follow the curbs and just drive along the sides of the track as you see here with the little raised you know red and white surfaces just like those ones right beside me you will slightly give yourself an edge as you're going to be driving faster now Obviously, if you're in the slowest car in the game versus the fastest, it's not going to help much, but it will help little by little over the course of the race. This is a method that is proven to be so good that even speedrunners utilize it, so you definitely should be as well. With all of that being said, let's get into the next tip. So the next tip I have for you guys is to utilize slipstreaming or drafting. Now, if you don't know what this is, essentially, I'm not going to give a whole physics lesson on why it works. But if you do want to read more into that, you can. But essentially, just to keep it simple, follow the car in front of you. And if you go close behind it, you're going to start seeing these little white trails coming behind the car. 
and then when you see that happening you're going to start increasing in speed and you can shoot right past them so following behind them they take on all the air resistance you don't have to take as much you're going to get quicker you can fly right by simple concept easy to remember white lines you're going quicker now little tip on that little note on that Slipstreaming is really helpful, but it can act negatively towards you as well So just make sure that you're not going too quick through corners or whatnot If you're slipstreaming just before a turn, you know let off the throttle a bit or break a tiny bit because so many times I've seen people Slipstream or I've even done it myself You slip streaming someone you hit the corner way too quickly and there you go You've just lost your second place or whatever and now you're like ninth So just be aware of how quick you're going through the corners, you know and yeah, you slipstream as much as possible. It's just free speed. Next tip. The next tip I've got for you guys is to use a smooth racing line or a driving line. Now I'm not saying you have to go ahead on every track and memorize how to take each corner. This isn't a simulator, this is GTA we're talking about. But using the rules of a smooth driving line that you might in some simulator games can actually help you in this arcadey type of racing as well. All you have to remember is that you want to try and take most of your corners from the outside line towards the inside line as you're turning and then go back on the outside line as you are exiting the corner. So if you go from, as you saw in that turn, the outside is like the furthest part away from like the middle of the corner. You want to start as far away from it as possible, move your way in towards the apex of the corner and then shoot out and exit on the wide side again. Doing this will allow you to take corners much quicker than you normally would be able to and it will guarantee that your lap times start getting faster. Now, you can test this out for yourself and you know, if you try and keep these smooth racing lines, you're going to be hitting those corners way quicker than anyone else. So, give it a shot. Let's get into the next one. So the next point I'm going to be talking about is understanding the limits of your car and knowing when to brake. This is kind of two different points put in one, but I'm just going to explain it as is. So each car in the game handles mostly differently. You know, they handle a bit different to each other. Some have got a lot of grip, some have got not so much. So you're going to start to get a feel for the car after a few turns and see how you're able to handle it. So if you're going through your corners and you're noticing you're starting to go wide quite a lot, you need to start braking earlier for your turns. So if you you just keep braking late or you're trying to full throttle through your corners What's gonna happen most of the time is either you're gonna spin out or you're gonna crash So you just need to make sure that you're braking enough before some of your turns Particularly in street races. This isn't so much a problem with stunt races But you just need to make sure that you're braking enough for the corner you're about to take Another little thing that can add to that which can help is paying attention to the little checkpoint markers and the arrows in them which direction they're facing and the minimap in the bottom left. Paying attention to these will give you a good idea of where you need to go next for the track and how sharp or you know wide the corner in front of you is. So as you see right there the guy in front he wasn't paying attention he didn't realize it was a hairpin turn crashed and I just took his position so now I've fixed you know I fixed myself a nice second place there. So just paying attention knowing when to break and understanding different corners you have to break later or earlier it will help a lot in the long run. The last set of tips I've got for you here is going to be talking about jumps and how to make your lap times faster using them. Now the first thing I want to say is that you want to be braking before some of your jumps. Now this is really down to the track and there's different ones where this applies to and doesn't apply to. But there are a few tracks in the game where there are huge massive jumps where there don't need to be. And if you're taking these at full throttle, full speed, you're going to be in the air and have way too much air time where it isn't needed. So what you want to go ahead and do for some of these is go ahead and brake just before the jump and it will just make you land way quicker and you'll be able to just accelerate off and not waste any time next thing is also when you are exiting a jump you want to kind of point the car downwards in a downwards trajectory just because you're going to be going ahead and landing a little bit quicker and you know just little minute things that add up on the lap time it'll just help out and the last thing is that you want to go ahead and make sure you have soft landings when you're exiting your jump if you're exiting the jump with a huge massive smash into the ground every time it's way more likely that you spin out or lose control and you might lose some of your momentum so keep the landing soft with all of that out of the way i'd like to thank all of you for watching the video and to all of my subscribers now if you did enjoy this you did find this helpful drop a like 
and leave a comment down below if you want to see more like this and consider subscribing if this is the kind of content you like that's going to be all for today and thank you all for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one